Assalamu alaikum everyone and a very good morning to all of you. I hope you are doing fine at your home and you're safe and sound too. Welcome to another lecture. Uh, today we are going to start unit number 18 that is the fantastic undersea life of Jack Euster. So let's start uh, our lecture for today. These two pages we are going to read for today. Okay, this is basically a comprehension. Uh, this is a piece of prose that we are going to read out. The Fantastic Undersea Life of Jack, Jack Custo. Basically, we are going to read about Jack Custo. Who was Jack Custo and who is he, what he does, what his profession is, why the story is about Jack Custo. Okay, everyone. So, let's find out who is Jack Custo from Google. Let's Google it. So everyone here, I have just Googled who is Jack Custo. So the results are here in front of you. So let's see. Jack Custo ke baare mein humne extra information chahiye thi. That's why we come to, we're concerned with Google. And here now we are going to read about it. Jack Custo, Jack West Custo. Okay, what is Custo? Yeah, Custo. Also UK, yeah. Custo is, yeah, so it's Jack and Custo is the correct pronunciation. Custo, okay? So it's uh, Jack if Custo, okay? Jack is Custo uh, from June 1910 to June 1970, 1997. He was born in, I guess, 1910 and he died at 1997, maybe, because the time period is written over here. Was a French novel officer, explorer, conservationist, filmmaker, innovator, uh, scientist, photographer, author, and researcher who studied the sea and all forms of life in water. Wow. This was just wow. A one person can be so many, so many. Like he can be a novelist, he can be an officer, he can be a filmmaker, he can be an innovator, scientist, photographer, author, researcher. So many in one, in one person. So many qualities in one person. You studied, the, he, he used to study the sea and all the forms of life in underwater. Okay, so he was basically a water baby. Okay, so wo kya? underwater. C से related size study करता था, research करता था और underwater life को explore करता था, okay? So he was from Paris, France. वो France में था, Paris में था and his age वो कितने साल का था? 87 years. His age was 87 years and he died on 25 June 1997. 1997 में वो उनकी death हो गई थी. So this was the background knowledge that we got about Jack, Jack Custo. Okay, everyone. So now let's get back to our book because we have now we know enough about Jack Custo that he was filmmaker, he was innovator, scientist, explorer, and he used to study under the sea. He used to study under the water, the life, the marine life basically he used to study. So let's get back to our work. So this is your book. So let's read out the text from your book. He was the Jack Costu. You can see Jack Custo, not Costu. Custo, Jack Custo. He was Jack Custo. And these are some beautiful pictures of him swimming under the water. And this, this is basically a, a machine that gives you air even under the water. And you see so many beautiful creatures under the sea that Jack Cousteau found. Okay, let's see now. Jack Cousteau loved the sea. Jack Cousteau ko sea bahut pasand tha. He spent his whole life exploring it. Wo isko explore karne mein sab puri life guzar di. He wanted to share its beauty with the world. Wo world ke saath iski beauty ko share karna chata. Growing up in France, little Jack was weak and sick. बहुत ज़्यादा weak था और sick था वो. Doctors encouraged him to swim to build up his strength. 
डॉक्टर्स ने उसको इस इनकरेज किया कि आप स्विमिंग करें एंड देन यू कैन गेट बैक टू बैक योर स्ट्रेंथ आपकी ताकत आपकी स्ट्रेंथ वापस आ सकती है ही डिस्कवर दैट ही लव द वॉटर उसने डिस्कवर किया कि उसको पानी बहुत पसंद था ए फ्रेंड गेव हिम अ पेयर ऑफ गॉगल्स सो दैट ही कुड सी अंडर वाटर उसके फ्रेंड ने उसको गॉगल्स दिए पेयर ऑफ गॉगल्स के जिस जो वो पहनता था एंड ही कुड सी अंडर द वाटर और वो पानी के अंदर देख सकता था दोज गॉगल्स चेंज हिज लाइफ फॉर एवर जो गॉगल्स थे उसने उसकी लाइफ बिल्कुल चेंज कर दी फॉर एवर समटाइम्स वी आर लकी इनफ टू नो दैट आर लाइफ हैव बिन चेंजड इट हैपन टू मी दैट समर्स डे वो माई आईज ओपन टू द वर्ल्ड बी नीत द सर्फेस ऑफ द सी अच्छा अब जैक क्यूस्टो क्या कह रहा है क्यूस्टो कह रहा है कि कभी कभी ऐसे होते हैं कि कुछ ऐसे इंसिडेंट आपकी लाइफ में हैपन होते हैं कि आपकी लाइफ चेंज हो जाती है समटाइम्स सम थिंग्स एक्सीडेंटली हैपन टू यू सो दैट यू गेट योर लाइफ रियली चेंज एंड उसके साथ भी ऐसे हुआ सेम थिंग हैपन विद मी वॉट हैपन टू हिम दैट दैट समर स्टे वन ही ओपन हिज आईज टू इन फ्रंस द वर्ल्ड ऑफ सी सी वर्ल्ड एंड ही वॉज अमेज एंड स्टोनिश टू सी द अंडर वाटर वर्ल्ड मरीन लाइफ वॉज सो ब्यूटिफुल टू हिम दैट ही वॉन्टेड टू एक्सप्लोर मोर एंड ही वॉन्टेड टू डिस्कवर मोर एंड ही वॉन्टेड टू स्टे इन द सी फॉर एवर कॉस्टू क्यूस्टो वॉन्टेड टू से स्टे अंडर वाटर लॉन्गर टू सी इवन मोर वो ज़्यादा देर तक रहना चाहता था ही वॉन्टेड टू स्टे इवन लॉन्गर सो दैट ही कुड एक्सप्लोर मोर द डाइविंग सूज ऑफ हिज डे वर हैवी एंड बिग जिससे वो डाइव करता था द सू दैर ही वॉर ही यूज टू वॉर to dive under the water was really heavy and big they didn't allow much freedom of movement and an air hose tethered the diver to a boat ab jo usko ek any hoses uh, used for the term of uh, any pipe any pipe uh, even though it's a water pipe even though it's a it's an oxygen pipe any kind of pipe Uh, can be called a hose so hose tethered means fastened the diver to a boat so wo connected rakhta tha usko jod ke rakhta tha kisko diver ko boat ke sath so that he can not go very far away uh, kabhi bhi usko jo tha he could be pulled over the sea anything if anything bad happens under the water cost gusto and his friend emily Gagnon created a breathing device they call the aqua lung. So everyone, ta-da! This was the breathing device, aqua lung. So this aqua lung was the device that Cousteau and his friend Emily Gagnon created for breathing under the water. Because there, this was the problem that he couldn't breathe longer under the water. So he wanted something so that he could breathe under the water. So they invented. Uh, the breathing device that was called aqua lung it was the first machine that would let a diver breath breathe under water for a long time so everyone it was the first machine ye pehli machine thi jo divers ke liye bani thi so that they could breathe under the water for a long time because human being cannot breathe under the water for a long time there is a certain time period so that human can take breath under the water or can hold uh, uh, it his breath but with with the uh, breath and breathing device aqua lung they could breathe even longer i flew without wings so now Cousteau was free to explore. A silent world opened up to him. I flew without wings, so he was feeling like he's flying without wings under the water. The feeling that he cannot himself explain how good he feels to swim under the water is just amazing. Costi bought a boat and turned it into a research lab and film studio. He sailed all over the world. So what happened? Costi bought a boat. उसने एक बॉट खरीद लिया एंड टर्न इट इन टू अ रिसर्च लैब और उसने उसको रिसर्च लैब बना लिया एंड फिल्म स्टूडियो और इसको फिल्म स्टूडियो भी बना दिया सो दैट ही वुड गो अंडर द वाटर एंड ही वुड फिल्म एवरीथिंग दैट ही वुज सींग हिमसेल्फ सो ही वॉन्टेड द वर्ल्ड टू सी वॉट्स अंडर द वाटर सो ही यूज टू फिल्म अंडर द वाटर सो दिस इज वाई ही इज़ अ फिल्म मेकर टू ही सेल्ड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड उसने पूरी दुनिया में सेल मीन्स के ट्रेवल किया अंडर द वाटर 
Look up the words aquatic and lungs in the dictionary. Does it help you to understand what an aqua lung is? Definitely. Lung is what you have. Lung is an organ of our body through which we can breathe. And aquatic means the things that are made of, that are made for waters. Okay, so aqua, aqua lung means uh, water, aqua means water and lung means your lungs. So it's related to breathing thing. So you can breathe under the water. It gives the message. Okay. What is a scientist after all? Scientist hota kya? It is a curious man looking through a keyhole, the keyhole of nature, trying to know what's going on. Scientist is a person who tries to discover everything, discover the nature, what's happening all over him. Costume, sorry, not costume, Cousteau. Cousteau explored the freezing water of Antarctica and found them filled with penguins, humpback, whales, and squids. So he explored the Antarctica and he found that there were penguins, there were snow animals that were found in, that were found in the Antarctica. Jack Cousteau was the world's king of the ocean. He was the king of the oceans. He produced 50 books, two encyclopedias and dozens of documentary films. That's a big deal. I believe, I don't believe that a person can do so many things at a time. And a person can be so inspiring to the world. And he can be so helpful to the world that the world is introduced to the underwater world through him. His TV series, The Undersea World of Jack, uh, Jack Custo brought whales, octopuses, otters, and dolphins right into the people's living rooms. While exploring off the coast of Australia, Costu and his crew saw coral reefs, kelp forests, and sponge gardens. They came face to face with the leafy sea dragon. Wow. So they were so lucky to see all of these creatures that are found under the water. The creature that the world is not aware of, the world is un unable to face them. They were facing uh, under the water to them. Costu created a Costu Society. This group teachers teaches people about ocean life and protecting our seas from pollution. We protect what we love. So this is basically the message from Jack that we should protect what we love means if we love the sea, then we have to protect it from pollution. We have to protect it from unnecessary oil that factors through uh, into the sea. So we have to protect it. Jack used to love the sea. He shared its beauty into with the world so that everyone could love and care for it too. So... He was the one who used to care for the for this, but he wanted the wanted other persons too to take care of the ocean, of the sea, of the water, of the underwater marine life, the way he used to love. He wanted the world to love also. That's why he made a lot of documentaries. He made films. He made he wrote books. He wrote doc. He made documentaries. So he was a great man. After all, we must consider him a great man. Man of great. So everyone, I hope you have enjoyed reading about Jack Houston. Now I'll see you next time doing the exercise of this chapter. So still then, stay tuned. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Don't forget to share this channel. Don't forget to like, comment, and give me your feedback. Bye.